Looks like we have some time before Max and May leave the Pokemon Center, since Nurse Joy is healing May's skitty. What should we do while we wait? I'm kind of bored. Hey, I've got an idea. See that hole down there? Let's see if we can roll the ball so it drops right in. Mmm, the ball just didn't roll far enough. I bet it'll work if I move the ramp so it's closer to the hole. Pika, pika. Yes! There you go, Pikachu. We just invented a new game. Ramp Ball! Alright, Pikachu! You know, this game won't be fun if the ball goes in every time. We've got to figure out how to make it harder. Hey, I bet Sierra will have some ideas. Let's call her. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Ash. What are you up to today? I just invented a game called Ramp Ball, but it's kind of boring. Can you help me find a way to make each hole different? Piece of cake. I can definitely ramp it up for you. All right. I see what you've got there. Let's look a little closer at this idea. Ramps and rolling. That's a great start. A little slick science will add just the right twist. So let's get started. Do you know why the ball rolls right to the hole? Because of the ramp, right? Well, the ramp's part of it. When that ball goes down the ramp, it's being pulled by gravity. Yeah, it pulls it down. But did you know that there's another force that's working to stop that ball from moving? When the ball rolls down the ramp, its surface slides against the ramp surface. That rubbing creates a force called friction that pulls against or resists the motion of the ball. So the rubber ball rubbing against the wooden ramp creates friction? You got it! And the relationship between gravity and friction is just right to make the ball roll down the ramp, across the ground, and into the hole. Cool! But what if the ramp was made of something different? Would the ball still end up in the hole? Aha! Uh -huh. Now you're thinking. Let's test it out. Watch what happens when the ramp is covered with a rougher surface. Sandpaper. Hey, the ball didn't roll as far. That's because with a rougher surface like sandpaper, there's more friction to slow the ball down. Does that mean if we put a really smooth surface on the ramp, there would be less friction and the ball would roll farther? Bingo! Rougher surfaces create more friction. Smoother surfaces create less. Each one affects the ball differently. Hey! How about doing a little friction testing on your own? I've got a bunch of different ramp coverings right here. Sounds great, Ciara. We're ready. Okay, let's start with the wooden ramp. Click on the ball to see how far it will roll on this surface. Okay, let's see what happens. Of course, it stopped where the hole used to be. Now, Let's cover half of the ramp with felt. Which surface will make the ball stop closer to the ramp? Click on the wood or the felt. Exactly! Felt creates more friction than wood. Its soft surface made the ball roll more slowly, so it stopped closer to the ramp. Here are two different surfaces, glass and grass. This time, click on the surface that will make the ball roll farther from the ramp. Good thinking! Glass creates much less friction than grass. Its smooth surface made the ball roll faster and farther. Now compare these surfaces, ice and ridged paper. Click on the one that will create more friction. Good thinking! Ridged paper creates more friction than ice. Its bumpy surface slowed down the ball so it didn't roll as far. Now. Click on the surface that will create less friction, grass or felt. Exactly! Felt creates less friction than grass. Its surface is soft, but much smoother, 
so the ball rolls faster and farther. Let's compare three surfaces this time. Glass, wood, and ridged paper. Click on the one that will create the most friction. Good thinking. Ridged paper creates the most friction. Wood and glass are smoother surfaces. This time, click on the surface that will create the least friction. Grass, ice, or felt. Exactly! Ice creates the least friction. It's smoother and more slippery than glass or felt. Awesome! A perfect score! Friction didn't get you stuck at all! Hey, thanks to you and Sierra. I think I can use friction to make ramp ball a better game. Come on, I'll show you. Welcome, friction fans! Are you ready for my sticky friction ramp ball challenge? I got six different ramp ball holes, all with ramps that are exactly the same size. Here's the catch. The hole's in a different spot for each one. Click on the surface you want to use. Then, click the ball to test it. Choose carefully. Surfaces with too much friction will leave the ball short of the hole. Surfaces with too little friction will make the ball overshoot the hole. Oh, yeah! Vika, Vika! Perfect shot! That surface created just the right amount of friction. Click on the surface you want to use. Then, click the ball to test it. Oh, yeah! Vika, Vika! Oh, yeah! A hole in one! Click on the surface you want to use. Then, click the ball to test it. Oh, yeah! Vika, Vika! Right in the hole! Click on the surface you want to use. Then, click the ball to test it. Oh, yeah! Vika, Vika! Right in the hole! Click on the surface you want to use. Then, click the ball to test it. Oh, yeah! Vika, Vika! Perfect shot! Click on the surface you want to use. Then, click the ball to test it. Oh, yeah! Vika, Vika! You're on a roll! Dude, you're amazing! Vika! Six holes in one! That's a perfect ramp ball score! Making ramp ball was a blast! Thanks for playing! Oh, it looks like Max and May are here now. Hey, why don't you make your own ramp ball game? All you need is a ramp, a ball. Hey, Ash, what are you playing? Ramp ball and a bunch of different surfaces. How do you play? You can even try different ones than we used, like a blanket or towel. Do your own friction experiments. Ash! Speaking of experiments, I think it's my turn to play ramp ball. <laughs> Go to it, Max! To make the ball stop closer to the ramp, you need more friction to slow it down. Choose the surface that creates more friction. Oops, good try, but look! Felt creates more friction than wood. Its soft surface made the ball roll more slowly, so it stopped closer to the ramp. Here are two different surfaces, glass and grass. To make the ball stop farther away from the ramp, you need less friction, so it will roll faster. Choose the surface that creates less friction. Very close. Good try, but see...
Glass creates much less friction than grass. Its smooth surface made the ball roll faster and farther. The surface that creates more friction will make the ball stop closer to the ramp. Choose the surface that will make the ball slow down more. The surface that creates less friction will make the ball roll farther. Choose the surface that will make the ball roll faster so it goes farther. The surface that creates the most friction will make the ball stop closest to the ramp. Choose the surface that will make the ball slow down the most. The surface that creates the least friction will make the ball roll the farthest. Choose the surface that will make the ball roll the fastest. Hmm, friction can be a sticky subject. How about trying those questions one more time? Yeah, Sierra's right. Let's go back and check out those surfaces again. Hey, thanks to you and Sierra, I think I can use friction to make ramp ball a better game. Okay, I think you're getting it. Too short. Try a surface with less friction. Too far. Try a surface with more friction. Here's the right surface for this hole. Oh, yeah! Bika, bika! Now you got it! Into the hole it goes! I warned you ramp ball wasn't easy, but the more you play, the better you'll be! Yeah! I'm impressed! You got most of the holes on your first try!